Greetings, my children. Today, we are going to talk about playing in the deep end of the alignment pool. Being chaotic evil. Chaotic evil. Chaotic evil. Yeah. Now, if you're... Well, if you're watching this channel, you must know what Dungeons and Dragons is. You've got a YouTube account. You've logged onto a type, onto a channel smart RPG manners. You must have some idea. And if you have some idea about D and D, then you know that they have alignments. Alignments are sides. Are you on the side of the angels, or are you on the side of the demons, the devils? And we're going to talk about being on the side of the demons. Because down in that lower left-hand corner is an alignment on the graph called Chaotic Evil. Where you embody freedom, individuality, expression. For these are all things of chaos. Power at any price. And you are evil. You don't care how big a pile of bodies. <laughs> you... You choose to get to get to your aims. If you have to climb over a mountain of skulls, which you have made, which you have collided yourself, and mortared with the blood of your victims, so be it. For you are chaotic evil. You are the Joker. You are the demon. You are unquestionably a bad person. And why would you want to play that in a role-playing game? And how can you fit that into a game where you've got, presumably, paladins, rangers, guardians of nature, those druids, gnomes? How would you fit into a regular venture party? You're probably off to do some good. Well... If you are cat evil, you can have a lot of fun. You get a lot of freedom. For you are freedom of expression. You should be the one to say all the dark and terrible things that no one else in the party dares say. You can be the one to suggest the third option. And always make the third option something terrible and bad and something that makes, you know, oh my god. But not so bad that you're creepy and you weird out the players, but did you weird out only the characters? So, but you get to be the black conscience. You get to be the little devil on the shoulder. And you also get to be the person who shines a light on the good characters. For many adventurers in your D&D game will be good. They'll be noble, they'll be pure. But there's no real way they stand out. They don't... If you're playing a player, you don't stand out against all the other people who are also off on the same quest doing the good things. But if there's a character evil character there, some dark, twisted wretch, someone with a black heart, wears a black hat openly, loudly and proudly, then they get to say, no, no, we will not do it your way. <laughs> no, your way is terrible. Your way is wrong. <laughs> And they get to be good. You get to voice the horrible thing so it can be voted down, so it can be shouted, so that it can be done. And then you should just gradually go along with the rest of the group. Because you you are with the group. You you belong. This is your group. This is your gang. These are your. These are still your buddies. You might have a black heart. You might be a twisted creature. But you must. But you are playing a cooperative game. You are there to help everyone else have a good, fun time. So you don't backstab the party. You don't backstab your meal ticket. You don't backstab the people who are going to stick up for you when you come into town and everyone goes, what about that piece of scum? Let's lock him up. Well, let's string him up. And then the party goes, well, no, 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 no. He's, he's useful. He's he's our... He, he, he is a problem, but he is our problem. He, he also does some useful things. He's, he's handy to have around. He's useful and contained. You should always give the sense that you are contained. That you are somehow under control. But every once in a while you, you are allowed to, well, slip the net and go off and do something vile and terrible and 
ghastly, but you are still a member of the party. You are still corporate. These are still your buddies. You're still your pals. A character a character can be in with a band of rogues or thieves or even plans, you know. Because plans murder a lot of people. <laughs> Don't notice if you notice and Dungeons and Dragons, but those good characters, they kill an awful lot of people. They cause a lot of death and destruction and woe. And these are things that you are down with. And you should encourage them. When when the party are wondering what to do about the menace, you should suggest sacking and looting them. And if they're a typical band of PCs, they'll be along with you. They'll, they'll go along. They'll go, yeah, yeah, is that, that evil wizard? Yeah, see, yeah, we could, we could rock in there and we could knock him over. That's a good thing. And we could take his stuff. That's also good. And you, you can encourage him that. You go, yes, 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 we can go in there. We can usurp that wizard. We can show that he is nice. We can pal. He is weak and feeble. And we will demonstrate our strength, our might. And we will take his stuff and we will use it for our own. And that's the typical modus operandi of an adventuring party. And it's also completely in line with being chaotic evil. So you can encourage them to loot and pillage and destroy, because DD parties do that a lot anyway. <laughs> but you can be the black conscience, the dark thing. And yeah, so that's, that's the, the two things. You can be, you can be this excitable, melodramatic, evil person, evil person, and you can shine a light on the good characters when they suggest something good. Question them about it. Good. You don't need to attack them. You don't. You don't need to fight them. You don't need to stab them in the back. But you can question them. You can say, "Why do you do that? Why? Why?" And another thing you can do is you can slowly be turned to good. If the good PCs are actually good and noble and pure. Maybe you are turned by them. You are turned to good. You don't have to turn them to evil. You can be turned to good. And that can be a win for the other piece, the other players, the other PCs. They get to see that their viewpoint is stronger. Their thing is right. Being lawful good actually does make a difference. And you get to do that by writing chaotic evil on your character sheet. So those have been a few points on swimming in the deep, dark end of the alignment pool. Thank you.